Hey, what's up? Welcome guys. Uh, I am just going to go over some color grading because I've changed my process a little bit. So I want to explain the differences of what I'm doing. I'm going to go over a quick route if you need to get color grading done quickly. And then I'm going to go over a little more in depth route. Uh, both are good. Um, one's just better. <laughs> Let's start with the faster way. Okay, so we start by throwing on Z-Log color. That's an amazing way to process your Z-Cam footage from Z-Log to Rec. 709. You can adjust with the purple edge remover and saturation correction. I haven't found the best results. I kind of like to leave it how it is. And then I like to go in with just a little bit of primary wheels, adjusting that tone. And then I like to put on Dehance, which just gives a good look, film grain, that type of stuff. So um, we throw all that on and that is a super, super quick uh, look that works really well for most things. One of the reasons why I don't always use this and why you should probably learn other ways to color grade. Right now I'm editing on an M1 MacBook Pro and the Z-Log plugin and the Dehance plugin, they don't quite get along. So anyway, this is what it looks like sometimes when they don't work together, which most of the time they don't. Moving on to the slightly more complicated way, I'm gonna just go through each of these nodes. So first in the primary wheels panel, down here, we have a small contrast and saturation adjustment. I'm just boosting that a little bit. Then we're gonna apply a little bit of a temperature correction. I thought this looked a little bit better with that um, kind of dark blue sky that you get when it's later at night, which is how it looked like in person. Um, then I go into my primary wheels and this is where I'm kind of correcting to Rec. 709. So we're just adding, again, a little bit more contrast and dialing it in a little bit better. So we have our dark tones completely dark and uh, bring our light tones up to where they're supposed to be. Then we go into HSL and I'm just adjusting a couple of the different hue adjustments um, and I'm adding a slight S curve, um, just finding that contrast point that I like. And then this is something I don't feel I need to do with this specific shot but this is where you would add your look. But for this, I'm not gonna do that. And then we add glow, which is really interesting. I'll actually show you how I do that. So you're gonna add the glow effect onto your footage. And this seems weird because most of the time you're not gonna use this uh, effect on actual regular footage. But what we're gonna do is put the shine threshold and the spread threshold all the way down. And then we're gonna switch to soft light. And you can see it adds like a crazy amount of contrast and a crazy amount of pop. But what this is really good for in situations like this where it's dark, um, we qualify it. Let's see what we're doing here. Kind of give it some feather. And basically, I really only want to put it into the darker tones and really uh, separate and pop the subject. Uh, so when we turn off this qualifier thing, you can see it's really giving us some extra pop without making his skin tones or anything like that too contrasty and weird. Uh, it's a really good way to uh, add that effect. And then now we're just adding grain. And I'm gonna add the same film look from Dehancer just so you can see the difference between the two ways of doing this. Let's go to the other one, turn these back on. So this is what you get with the quick grade. And this is what you get with the slightly more complicated grade. Again, not that crazy different. Uh, I definitely prefer the one that takes a little bit longer, but if you're in a pinch, either one works. All right, that was just a quick update of how I'm currently color grading my footage. Uh, I'm doing the same slightly more complicated version on uh, the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera uh, with almost no difference. Just obviously the little tweaks, making sure it looks right at the end, but the same type of no tree and process or whatever. And I want to shout out to Kazi on YouTube. It's the guy I've been watching the most. If you watch him, you can clearly see a bunch of stuff that I'm using from him. I would check him out if you want to see longer, more in-depth tutorials. All right, that's it. See you never.